Hey guys, welcome back to the 2021 Lexus LC500. We've done a bunch of videos on these things. You guys know my sentiments. I love this car. The LC500 was actually our 2020 car of the year on the Winding Road Magazine YouTube channel. Today's video, let's just take it for a drive. Enjoy the sounds of this 5 liter V8. 471 horsepower, 10 speed automatic. A new color, cadmium orange for 2021. Very sharp, very nice in the sunlight. Kind of reminds me of the 350Zs orange back in the day. This has a little bit more of a metallic flake to it. Beautiful color. I definitely do prefer the convertible LC500 to the coupe, but this has its own merits. You get a little bit more trunk space in this, and uh, even though it isn't much, you know, any little bit matters especially if you're taking this on a weekend trip. Let's look under the hood at the masterpiece of the 5 liter V8. This engine really makes the experience of this car. It's such a fantastic powertrain. The automatic's not bad. And the 5 liter V8 just sounds amazing. It kind of reminds me of an Aston Martin. I've always called this the Japanese Aston Martin. The build quality, the level of refinement, the materials, the leather, everything in this LC500 is top notch. So just quickly, I'll kind of breeze over the interior. We've talked about this stuff a lot before, but as a little refresher, we have a pretty nice interior, really, the only knock against this LC500 is just the infotainment, but when you live with this thing, when you drive it on a daily basis, you get all your settings right, and you just pretty much live in Apple CarPlay or Android Auto all the time, it's not that big of a deal. These, you know, the touchpad isn't amazing. It works pretty well in the Apple CarPlay app. The uh, shifter is a little bit strange, takes some getting used to. A lot of people who aren't familiar with this car don't know how to use it at first. Optioned out, this is about $98,000. Starting price is ninety-two grand or thereabouts. And just a fantastic car for that price. And these things hold their value too. Nice little glove box. I mean, this has all the form and beauty of an exotic car, but not as much of the performance. And I think that's fine because you can actually enjoy this car on the street and uh, you can enjoy it as a daily driver. It'll be reliable. And just living with that five liter V8 on a daily basis is worth the cost of entry, in my opinion. So before we take this thing out on the road, I would like to thank our sponsor for today's video, Phantom Wallet. They are a minimalist wallet company out of Canada and my wallet of choice these days. I really have enjoyed using these. They have a bunch of different accessories that fit onto the back and they still remain pretty slim. This accessory is the key holder. And uh, I really like this because I can keep my keys on me and my wallet, everything I need except for my phone. Great company, a really nicely designed and well-built product. This carbon fiber wallet has held up incredibly well to a lot of abuse. Its finish still looks nice. I've really put this through the ringer. I've been using it for about the last nine months and it's still in great shape. If you guys are interested in a phantom wallet of your own, check out the link and discount code in the description. All right, let's take this LC500 for a drive. Probably going to keep this in my custom drive mode. Everything is set to soft except for the engine and drivetrain programming, which is set to sport. quality over our bumpy road section of our test route. You can just play this thing like an instrument.
Tronza tires grip isn't amazing. But this was never meant to be an all-out performance car. It would be awesome to get an LCF in here, but I don't know, for what this thing is, I think it really does hit the mark. It's luxurious, it's comfortable, it sounds fantastic. Kind of a rare breed of luxury GT cars that's a little bit old school and how it drives and feels. It's not trying to do everything at once. complaints about the LC500 is I wish for having a 10 speed transmission the gearing in the first six gears was shorter it'd really be nice to listen to that engine without having to go three gears through three gears and you're already speeding shifts in this thing are just addictive. <laughs> and it's surprisingly loud from the outside too. When we were in the convertible with the top down, the exhaust just sounds amazing. to this LC500, it's pretty much all been said, all been done. Adjusting your heated seats and cooled seats is an exercise in frustration. But again, minor gripes with what other otherwise is that phenomenal car. Lexus did such an amazing job tuning this exhaust.
put it into manual mode for a little bit. Play with the paddles. enjoyment of this car on a daily basis is just in those short little bursts. has the most intoxicating rev limiter. Just amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is one of the greats from Lexus. I'm very curious to see what the new IS500 will drive like. pretty different from the RCF and the GSF. Just the 10 speed alone makes for quite a difference in its character. The way the downshifts bark and the way this engine sounds. And of course this isn't as track ready of a car as either of the F vehicles from Lexus. It is still pretty fun to drive on track though. We had a fleet of these at M1 Concourse for a couple of years and they held up surprisingly well on track. They could hang, not the fastest things, but very enjoyable and made all the right noises and sounds for people to have a good time in with thrill rides. guys well there's the LC 500 for full thoughts a full review I mean I'm sure you've already heard it from 10 other videos uh, check out some of my past videos on these the convertible was an absolute treat last year and uh, that video got a ton of views so check that out for some more sounds and if you're listening with headphones good on you the binaural audio in this LC 500 sounds pretty good Thanks for watching, guys. Check out Phantom Wallet if you're interested in a new minimalist wallet for yourself. Be sure to use the discount code TOFER for 10% off your order. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be posting some more on this LC500 on the Windy Road Magazine and Daily Motor YouTube channels. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.